hello everyone here time for a really zero episode three see how you can i don't know do some real fixes i mean this anime is decent right but it definitely is like a bore more boring version of make black company which also about like i'm making money right but in a bad way yeah so that's basically more funny but i think episode two was pretty okay uh his idea of like uh i say it you know just finding the best people right yeah just merchandising uh, uh, the merchandise system basically, right? It's trying to find the best genius system program, yeah. That's a good solution, right? Uh, equal opportunity, basically. Um, his solution to Cotton, though, while it was definitely objectively correct, that, yeah, you know, make something else. Uh, that's what I'm worried about anime, though, because that's something very, very basic, right? Oh, so you have a lot of cotton that no one buys? Well, stop making cotton then. Do something else, right? You know what I mean? He's like, oh, yeah. He... And that's nothing to do with modern econo economy, right? It's been true for. The whole humanity, like everyone knows that. It's like, it's stop, do, do something else, you know, if, if no one buys it, right? So, uh, that's like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's watch the treats. So, true, true, and go. Now, but I just mean like, the cotton thing is actually what I worry about this anime. Because his solution so far is like, I saw the gold, okay, obviously, yeah. And it's like, well, if no one buys my cotton, make something else. Like, his, his solution so far has been incredibly basic, right? Uh, but it is an empty went for this equal opportunity uh, solution. But obviously, this hot dark elf is gonna be the coolest girl, right? Then there's some Ryu's guy coming and uh, some uh, refugee kid, maybe something like that. Yeah, some kind of. And he got the power to, of course, write little documents. That's pretty cool. It's like, I can write three documents at the same time, honey. Look at my <laughs> super multitasking magic. It's amazing. It's like. Uh, Still got power on his phone, yeah, the smartphone is this guy. Got power on it, baby. Yeah, then he got some magic called for Isekai OP powers there. Well, yeah, we do see those people in openness, true. That we saw in the last episode there, the ending. So my cash. <laughs> yeah, Chef Sip. Yeah, like, his name is hilarious. Ah, uh. Arara indeed. Man, he looks so evil, man. Oh, this is that uh, jewelry girl. And of course, the useless king. Yeah, uh, great character. <laughs> and he goes, this Portugal, yeah, I can, I can write three documents at the same time. Amazing. And then he goes, his sassy wife, of course. Yeah, Liska. And then he got the Ara Ara waifu. She appeared in the next episode, of course. Yuna Shan. Then we got the baddest waifu, of course. Yeah, the fighting waifu. I was the best waifu, of course. Punch is his rudest friend. And there he goes. Tomo, yeah, yeah, of course. So, given the opening and the ending, <laughs> we kind of know who's gonna pass this test, right? I think that wolf boy and like the fat guy, I think they're gonna probably, um, yeah, the food guy. It seems to be pretty clear who's gonna pass this, uh, you know, the best people to get the job team because, like, yeah, they kind of, they're very prominent in the opening and ending. Here's the cotton field, baby. Let's make less cotton. Yeah, the most basic economic thing ever. Yeah, gone. He's like, I'm gonna go home. Something. And she's all in love, of course. Of course she's. I mean, it's her fiance though, so you know, she's better used accepted rights. You know, gotta take it anyway. Nah, can't cancel it, man. Nah, come on, woman. If maybe she's insulted, he's like, what? You wanna cancel our engagement? What? Yeah. Yeah, and it's always like basic intelligence. Hmm. And he promises grandpa to get children, right? Yeah, and she's like, do, do you have a girlfriend or something? He's like, nope, no one. So why why, why does he even want to go home? I don't know. I don't even know why he wants to go back, except, I guess, you know, having computers or... Yeah, but except technology. He's, he has no one in his life, right? No woman. Yeah, no family. All his family's dead, right? He's like, he's like, oh, wait, I... 
Yeah, she's like, wait a minute, I'm his fiance, right? Yeah, I guess so, right? So, you know, you know it's like, maybe I should chat about that. Maybe, you know, maybe, baby. Hmm. Hmm. I was just getting a sudra or something, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha, the maid's like, ho ho ho, you're clearly in love, girl. Yeah, the, pre the maid is like, hoo, 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 I see, young girl in love, clearly. Yeah, this maid knows, she, was, she knows what's up, she knows what's up, man. Okay, so here we go. This guy's clearly gonna pass. He's the chef or something. He's like the food guy. Yeah, my talent is being recognized. What is his talent? That food? Okay, so don't, you don't, I mean, I hope they were good, like an idol thing. Oh, come on. I wanted to see them have like the talent show, you know, being like, what can you do, big guy? I can make food or something. Yeah, come on. I want to see them have a talent show. I want to see Aisha, you know, the new dark way lady, right? The warrior lady. Entering, kicking ass right you now. I wanted to see them. Yeah, this stuff is the least important thing. Also, oh, they always pass off screen. This is really boring, honestly. And she refuses to bow, I guess, because she's a kind of crazy dark elf. She's like refusing to follow, yeah, the royalty. She's like, I won't. Yeah. She uh, refuses. Like, I am a dark elf tribe or something. We, uh, we both to no one, yeah. I'm a warrior lady. Yeah, she's still kind of like, no, all it to my master, which of course would be him soon anyway. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. She's like, isn't Aisha gonna be, isn't her master gonna be the king later on? Isn't that what she's here for? So. But yeah, so here we get, you know, the whole the whole team, right? We see them in the opening and ending, so yeah. Some kind of the wolf boy. But I'm disappointed, honestly. I'm disappointed that you skipped over everyone, the actual exams. So I want to see some, you know, some kind of competition. Yeah, a little bit. A talent episode, come on. Instead, they're all these, yeah, the people have talents. And also, he summoned, like, the whole country. So there's probably been more than five people that have talents, actually. Yeah. Yeah, she's a dark elf, of course. Obviously. Hot dark elf. Clearly the wife of the anime. Yeah, she's clearly the wife of this, uh, this uh, show. I guess they're gonna introduce... Um, yeah, I guess he's gonna like talk about all the different races, I guess. Yeah, they're obviously, she's obviously a warrior lady, it's very obvious. <laughs> she's like, I'm a tribe of warriors! Yeah, she's a kind of warrior tribe lady, like the most tropey character ever. <laughs> like, she's just so tropey too, yeah. Oh, this is a kind of clannish uh, warrior lady that has no friends, they hate everyone else, and very proud. Like, obviously, she's the strongest fighter to have in the, in the country, because she's like the, yeah, she's the warrior tribe, right? Yeah. Of course, she's the military woman. Yeah, but this is so obvious, like, she's the... Yeah, she's the, the fighter lady, but... It's really the best, isn't really the, uh, uh, to be here. It's like, free my people or something. Oh yeah, no new trees are growing. Oh, we need some kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, botanic skills. <laughs> He's like, yeah! Luckily for you, I studied some. Uh, <laughs> no, it was surprised me. He's like, uh, yeah, of course. It's like, do you even tin the trees? Everyone knows you do that. You stupid people. Ah, you elves. <laughs> you don't like control the tree. Yeah. Yeah, it's too little uh, sun. Yeah. See, everyone knows this man. This is actually probably the first more thing he said so far, actually. This is probably the first thing as I feel he's commented something that people usually don't know, yeah. 
I mean, for like the needed times. <laughs> now she's like, my master, I love you immediately. I will be, I will be your wife forever. Here we go. Immediately, she's like, you are truly an amazing tree master. I will be your uh, tree garden lady. Yeah, I will be a cooking bite. See, she immediately is like, whoa, this guy got tree skills. I will marry him immediately. Teach me about it. <laughs> yeah. Very easy to get this wife. Very easy. Very easy wife to have. Yeah. She's like, I, oh, you have three skills. I will marry you immediately. I will be co combined. Yeah. She was. Uh, yep. I mean, she's obviously the mom of. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's obviously the mother, right? Or maybe big sister, but certainly she's Jonas' mommy, right? Like, Jonas Dormer. Yeah. The Ara Ara wife. It means she's the freaking daughter of the other one. Right? Come on. Or something in that. Direction. <laughs> the op eyes, yeah. The big one with the op eyes. Mm -mm -mm. What's her skill? It's like, whoa, op eyes. <laughs> I see what you're doing over here! It's like... Hey, stop it, yeah. Man, I'm not, I'm not like, looking at the op eyes. Come on. We all were. Yeah, she, she says, I'm Parel Beauty. <laughs> She's a beautiful talent singer or something. Oh, she's the best songstress. How can we use that for our country? I guess morale boost. I don't know. She's a morale character. She's there. I guess she's there for yeah, power of morale or something. Okay. I still wonder how they can utilize this thing. Oh, she's like a mermaid. I guess that's what she can sing. How that makes sense because she has singing powers. So maybe she can have some singing magic, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe it's just magic or singing though. Know? She's like a half mermaid. But I guess again, her mom is in the, you know, the, the, whatever, right? Something, something, duke, sort of queen of the sea, right? So, yeah. Okay, she can buff you with singing, yeah. It's kind of like the body in FFT or whatever, right? She's, she plays a song and then you get, you know, double strength for one minute. Yeah. But sure, why not? Magical, uh, singing magic, it buffs you. Oh, here we go. He has a, he has a cell phone to use. <laughs> oh, here we go. That, he's a modern J-pop song. She's like, how does she know that this? Yeah, how does she even know what this thing is? He didn't explain it to her. She didn't explain the headphones to her, but okay. It can play music. Yeah, it's a medical device that I have. Let me show you. Is she going to be completely shocked now then? This, she probably will be shocked hearing this music, honestly, in her headphones. I feel this is a little too easy. She'd probably be like, what, what is this? She'd probably be like, what is this magical device in my head? But, but okay. Man, she's so natural. Right? That's my husband, man. Touching my fiance like that. Yeah, Isika music. Oh, I can sing it anyway. Oh yeah, I can remember the song perfectly. <laughs> One time, yeah. I got the power of magical singing. I can memorize any song immediately, yeah. It's like Taskmaster, but singing instead. Well, cool, that's a uh, good power. You can do two of it, both, but... Oh, <gasps> Aisha Sean. Racial longevity, eh? So she's way actually older, she looks. Yeah, but now there is a talent show here. Yeah, talent show. But, I mean, wouldn't it be other songs stressed there that can compete with her? Who, who you know, how, how, did test, how did they test her before the thing? Yeah, how it happened before the yeah, episode 3 here? And actually, I mean, it would be much more people, right, getting past the things you know, <laughs> in the whole country. I don't know, it's a pretty meh song, I think. He said it would be Genki. I expect a lot more your Yave pop, you know. Something like, you know, I don't know, yeah, something way more Genki expected. Something like Yin or something, I don't know. It didn't fit Genki at all, that wasn't Genki, that wasn't a Genki song in my opinion at all. Um, expected more genki -ness. That wasn't Genki at all, man. But yeah, she has a mermaid singing powers, but is it useful? <laughs> well, I mean, she has the Taskmaster, I can I can master one song by hearing it once, I suppose, so she has that ability to go for her. Still, I don't know exactly how it's useful, except for like, maybe, I don't know, morale boost? Yeah, like, 
Unless if you actually can boost them right, with buffing them, which is on, but it wasn't really clear that. But yeah, she's kind of like the... She was on the bottom gold, right, so... I guess she trades a lot, yeah. She's kind of the merchant trader girl. But how do we get five people then? Major personal recruiting. It doesn't make it, I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense. If you do the whole country, if you get like thousand people, <laughs> you know, these are the five best, I guess, but you would get a lot of people. <laughs> you would get a lot of people coming there. And you probably would have, you know, more than five people that would be useful, right? Yeah, how does you have. There's a good question. How do you. How do you. Uh, yeah. Maybe a recorder singing and sell it. Yeah, the gorgeous sweaty fat guy, of course. Poncho Panacotta, so he's a food guy, come on. This guy is a food guy, his name is Panacotta, right? He's gonna be a food guy. He's like the best chef they have or something. He's fat, like, you know, he's anime. So he's, so he's, this guy is gonna be like the chef guy, right? Because he has the power of... Uh, his last name is like Ponak, yeah, like he, yeah, eating. Oh yeah, this is the fattest guy. His part is fat. Okay, so yeah, how do we utilize this guy? Oh, he can also find food. He's like a pig or something. He can smell out the truffles. Okay, so he has the power of eating. Uh, he's like, yeah, this is awesome. I can utilize this guy the most. Yeah, this is what I need to find, you know, I guess good uh, crops or something. Yeah, I, I guess so. You can utilize his, his like magical food powers to produce food or something. I feel it's a little unclear here how his power actually works though. It's like he can just f find the best food or something. But I mean, certainly he can use the power right to like, I don't know how to, you know, plan out stuff and... Yeah, you know, fix up better cattle or whatever. So I guess he's like a cattle guy and so on. But if it's a little bit, how would it actually work? Yeah, you're the sampling food guy. But actually, why would he both be the fattest eater guy, gluttony guy, and also be the best searcher guy for food? The two unrelated skills of it. They're related, but they're not the same skill though, so... I guess he used to have boats. I think that's called Core Marx, so yeah, that's a good name for that guy. Oh, I guess a Japanese name suddenly? Yeah, you gotta give you the food guy from my country, so. Yeah, so he's gonna. Okay, he's gonna send that guy around to, like, I don't know, give people mission in stop basically or something? I don't know. He's the brain. He's obviously the tactical brain guy. This guy is clearly the, the genius. He's the strategist. See, I told you guys. It's anime is so predictable. I was like, this guy's the intelligent guy. This is so obvious that this guy has the brain power, like... It's very, very tropey, yeah. This guy has the power of technical intelligence. Yeah, so this guy's clearly the tactical leader. guy. I said let's episode two. It's so obviously the, the tactic guy. He's like, you know, Sun Tzu, yeah. Art of War or something. <laughs> no, no, but he's clearly that guy that is like, he's the, exactly, law, military tactics. He's that guy that has all the knowledge of war, right? He's the genius military guy. Well, I guess he can be the librarian to start with, but you clearly can use him to... You clearly can utilize this guy for war strategies, because when it's so obvious, like, he's the, he's the smart guy. Like yeah, I wanna read. Something like that, clearly. Maybe a magical.
<gasps> the determination this guy has. Yeah, but he's just a, he, yeah, this is so tropey. The, the fat guy likes the food, the hot dark elf is the tribe warrior girl, and this guy that looks so incredibly smart and pass guy, he's this... Yeah, he's the smart guy that's been suspicious of a king, yeah, like, come on. I think this is more surprising than the other people took found Poncho. That's like a plot hole, yeah. Why did anyone else expect Poncho to get there? Yeah, who actually, you know, sent it before? Oh, this guy can eat a lot? He should meet the king, you know what I mean? Like, who who was that guy in the middle? Who was the middle man and you're being like, you know what? This fat king can eat a lot. Let's send him to the king, yeah. That's the question, really, of the anime. That's, I guess, what it skipped over this part. <laughs> and it skipped over, I guess, the... Yeah, it's the backstabbing guy, clearly. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, he's the most obvious tactical smarty pants guy ever. Yeah, let's see some strategy meeting later, boy. Man, sounds like a hand stuff. Yeah, let's go to my private room later. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's his, uh... <laughs> he's his strategy guy in the black. He's the right-hand man of uh, genius intelligence. I mean, I guess last week I played Sukoda on the right. I know Sukoda. This guy is like Shu. He's the he's the smart guy. Yeah, he's the he's obviously the tactical guy that appears. He's the Kabai boy. What can he do then? The beast powers. He got some kind of huge wolf power. Oh, it's a girl. Oh my god, I thought it was a like, cute girl. Thing, but okay, it's, it's a cute girl. I thought it was a cute boy. God damn it! It's pointed. But yeah, she got power to control animals. Like the most obvious thing ever to have come and call it. <laughs> I think I said it, but oh my god. Yeah, she can talk to animals. Okay, yeah, that's useful. I guess her breeding animal. He needs to make, make cattle, right? Combine the power with the fat guy and he can make, uh, yeah, and he can make more animals and so on, right? He can control the herd, so. She's just gonna have a refugee or something. Yeah, she's gonna have a refugee, clearly. Yeah, we can use her to, you know, bring more cows to life. Uh, it's useful, and also for the military horse or whatever. She's nervous. Yeah, she's all she's a kawaii little wolf girl. Every animal needs a kawaii little, you know, wife girl. Yeah, F and F's do. Yeah, she's all shy and everything. Yeah, I can't hear you, little girl. Oh no! Is he, he wants to marry him too, maybe? He's like the Aisha Ash I wanted. That's one of the easiest thing ever to get a wife. Yeah, Aisha's like, I will marry you! I will be cooking You know about tree stuff? I will marry you. Yeah, she was the most easy little. Seems something weird. I don't know. P toilet, probably. I think she's. I think she wants to go to the toilet. <laughs> I think she's like, can I please go to the bathroom and come back later? I think she's like that. Or something super dramatical. It's, it's either a silly joke or is it something super drama? Um, but yeah, he picks up, you know, this is cool, as I mentioned last thing. He picks up, so he picks up his talent crew, right? The talent show. Uh, I mean, this episode. It doesn't make any sense though that someone sent forward the fat guy to him though. I mean, obviously we are like, oh my god, this fat guy with the power of uh, food and stuff, and he, he can use him to, you know, stuff, yeah, like... Of course the king is gonna be like, oh, I can use this guy. But they clearly skipped over the, the, the first steps of getting through this talent show, right? So, yeah, who, who, who picked him to be like, the king definitely was this guy. Yeah, who, who, uh, who, who, who did that? I mean, who, who was that guy being like, yeah. We are sending forward the fat guy. He's he's because fat. Uh, kids, I love him, right? Uh, that's kind of strange. And uh, also, her singing didn't actually do anything. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, yeah, a singing and a buff or something, magic or singing, right? As you see in many games and so on. But she had the power to memorize a song immediately. So yeah, photographic hearing, I guess. Um, but afterwards, it was like, okay, how is that useful? I don't know. 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know that that's useful. Morale boost or something, I guess I mentioned earlier. Something, something, morale boost. Um, but certainly the anime is very uh, secured and so on trope, right? And it was so obvious that if anyone was obvious, it was of course a smart guy. Like this guy, he looks like he looks so. Yeah, I mean, obviously for the set, oh, this guy is a, he's a brain guy. Yeah, he's so he's so obvious. He's the brain guy. He's the smarter pants guy. He's like, oh yes, and I've been observing you, king. If you have the intelligence to be my king, and so on. Like this guy is like, yeah, <laughs> he was like, man, this guy screams overly intelligent anime character. I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's so tropey, but uh, but I do like that Aisha immediately was like, oh, I will be combine. Oh, please teach me about. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was obviously was gonna, you know, uh, go down on her knees later, right? Because she refused to coach first. Uh, but then immediately he's like, oh, yeah, you heard, heard about this teening stuff? Uh, and then immediately she's like, oh, I wanna F you, yeah. He's like, please smash me! Say, if you, I, you, can hit, you can hit my body, my honorable dark ass body, you so see my trees right there. So she went from like, I will bow to no one, to be like, I will be your slave if you say one tree for me. It's like, Ah, pretty easy lady. Very easy. <laughs> Very easy, Aisha. Disappointed almost how easy she was to get to wife up her. Yeah, she immediately went in from... Uh, I thought at least she was going to be a little more, you know, like slowly going from I am your warrior, but I will not bow and then, you know, fall in love with him and then be his wife, right? But she, <laughs> next scene, she's like, oh my god, please marry me. I will be your slave. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> she was a little too easy, I think. Too easy, this tertiary tree girl, yeah, a dendrophile, definitely. But, uh, I mean, that was decent. It, uh, I kind of wish they showed how they defeated other people a little bit, right? Or, and also, it's plot hole is hell, actually, who picked the fat guy and so on, even got four, right? And generally, if it's very random, I think, honestly, in the sense that it's like, who decided that these people were gonna, you know, get up there or something? Yeah, that, that, that's a little bit like who decided that they were gonna like even get up there. That, that's a little bit like, <laughs> as I said earlier, yeah, like who, I mean obviously Ash is, is this, like, the strongest female warrior they have. So she's like, well obviously we're gonna pick her, right? Um, and then, uh, hey, but who was like, oh yeah, let's send forward this like mermaid singer woman. We can maybe use her or something. Yeah, like that is strange, honestly, in the end. He's like, just come with your talent, but... But, but yeah, but like who, but like how did he pick these people? Like who, you know, who did the picking in between him, right? That's really weird in the anime. I think it would make a lot more sense if they had different talents, right? Like 50, 100 people was here, show the talents, right? And he was the one to be like, you, 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 and you, right? But someone has clearly done the sorting and filtering before him here. Someone else has already picked out these five people out of these like thousands of people coming here. And that makes no sense because no one else except obviously, you know, a smarty guy and the king himself that could see that fat guy was useful, right? So who did that teach right? Who was like, oh, I need this mermaid singing woman. She has the power of memorizing a song. She, no one knew that, right? You know what I mean? So the only obvious case is Aisha because she's like the strongest person to have. Right? She's like the, the royal tribe lady. She's the only one that's obviously that someone else would send forth. Say, this is the strongest woman we have. You're going to love her king and she wants to smash her. Yeah, that's the obvious uh, pick from them, right? But who, who, but everything else, a little bit like, okay, why would they send forward forward guy, beast girl? Okay, not the beast that that they, that that they might recognize that it could be useful. I suppose she's she's oh, the second one, which is like, well, I, 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 yeah, fine. I guess the guy is intelligent. I don't know how to measure that, but I guess that is true. I guess this guy's like super smart. So I guess they could measure that somehow. I suppose, but. But it really makes no sense how to send forward a fast guy. Like, who, who did that sorting, right? And I think that he, he summoned, like, the whole country. So basically, it's like, it, it'd be a sort of people appearing there. And given that he likes his weird talent skills, there's probably a lot of other talents he could actually utilize. We are those people, right? Uh, so it's a physical a lack here. Who did the sorting? Who, how did they sort these people for it? This is kind of, it's, it's, it's what he got there. So I think it would make a lot more sense, of course, if he actually went around, saw the talent show, right? And then, of course, he would, oh, I want the singing girl, I want the smart guy, I want the fat guy. That would show off the main cast being intelligent, and so on. Now, if someone already presented him the picks, right? And he was like, okay, I get take them. Yeah, like, it's really weird, actually. Really weird, honestly. I feel how that's, it really undermines the main character from being intelligent. It just shows that, 
someone else, like Marx, did it before him or something. So really, really weird. Uh, think, the more thinking about it, I like it. Yeah, it's actually really weak, really weak. Listen to the main character. Uh, very strange episode in that sense. Uh, but anyway, that's realist review reaction, guys. So I'll see you guys. We talk about it now for now. Of course, One Piece tomorrow. That that, that and of course, uh, yeah, Kuru made.